Okay, think about it. Virtually every material thing in our world today had a beginning which was an idea that grew into an invention or innovation that started small and through passion and perseverance changed the world we live in. That's what this show is all about. And at the pinnacle of disruptive technology, there was a circuit board with transistory things that helped drive the dawn of the modern computer age and the birth of one of the world's biggest companies. It's hard to imagine a world without computers, but it wasn't until the 1930s that modern computers, like the ones we use now, were developed. Most early computers were huge, taking up entire buildings, weighing many thousands of pounds. In the 1970s, two guys named Steve ruminated on the possibility of personal computers, computers that regular people could use at home. They designed everything, thought it out, Went in, started plugging chips in a board, soldering every wire on, testing, looking on oscilloscopes, debugging. Oh, oh my gosh, I made a mistake in the design. Fix it over here and move a couple of wires, put a new chip in. They had no idea their first design would turn into one of the biggest companies on Earth. And it all started with this, the Apple One. Handmade by Wozniak, it was one of the major sparks that ignited the digital revolution. I did that story with the Henry Ford's curator of technology, Kristen Gallerno. Today, I'm talking with head curator, Mark Ruther. Hi, Mark. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Good to see you. Let's take a look at the screen. This is the Apple One computer. This is the Apple One computer. It's in pieces. So how did the two Steves disrupt the world? <laughs> they started with a single product that people seem to have an insatiable demand for. Looking at that computer, it looks so kind of jury rigged. It's not shiny. It is just so important. Is it a is it a holy grail? I think probably the the most interesting experiences I've had when I've shown people into storage and they see it, and of course they want to take a photograph of it, which means they want to reach for their phone. Yeah. You're kind of looking wow. at very distant relatives that are absolutely connected. There's a sort of high degree of sophistication in the pocket. The introduction of the personal computer, the personal part of that, how important was that? I think it's hugely important. Powerful technologies in the hands of larger organizations, if they can be made smaller and put in the hands of individuals, typically there's going to be a transfer, if you will, of power, of potential to individuals rather than groups of people working for companies. If we went out on the street and stopped the first person and said, What's the first word that comes to mind when I say apple? Do you think they'd say fruit or computer? Uh, they could say the Beatles. I don't know. They're probably going to say the computer. Beatles? Yeah, the label, apple. Oh, OK. Come All on, right. Mo. Sorry. Look it up online. I, I, don't, I don't keep up with the kids these days in their music. I got it. 